How does the Social Security switch to direct deposit affect you? Hi, I'm Mark Whitehead, a board certified Social Security disability attorney. Recently, most of the Social Security questions I get are about what's probably the biggest change to Social Security in years. The move from paper checks to electronic fund transfers. If you receive Social Security or SSI, then you already know what I'm talking about. Except in a few special circumstances, everyone has to switch over to direct deposit and paper checks are no longer being sent out. Why did the SSA switch to direct deposit? According to a House hearing this past September, it all boils down to money. While processing each paper check can cost the government as much as a dollar and five cents, direct deposit is a much more affordable nine cents per person. More than six hundred million dollars has already been saved, so it's hard to argue with their logic on this one. Other reasons include the fact that thieves can't steal direct deposit like they can paper checks, and that it's easier to confirm that direct deposit payments have been received because there's a clear deposit record. But there's still some problems with this new system. Sure, thieves can't steal paper checks anymore, but identity theft might increase because now all they need to know is the person's account information. With all this, they can simply change the victim's address and have all the money and correspondence sent to them. Lawmakers are talking about continuing to send correspondence to the old address, as well as delaying any account changes until they're verified. But people need to be educated about not giving out their information. As a Social Security Disability Attorney, the biggest problem to me involves those people who need to fill out a waiver so they can continue receiving paper checks. These people tend to be older and living in remote locations where they can't get access to ATMs to get their money. It seems obvious that they should simply keep getting paper checks, but in order to do so, they are required to have a form stamped and notarized. Unfortunately, many people don't have one close by. All of these are reasons why they should have a Social Security Disability Attorney on their side. More information on this topic is available in my free ebook, The Social Security Disability Puzzle. Visit www.disabilitydenials.com for a free downloadable copy or call 1-800-562-9830 to discuss your particular Social Security Disability issue. I'm Mark Whitehead. Thanks for watching.